What's up guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviators and a Superman hat bringing you yet another episode of Fight Like a Superhero here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, Avatar month is going on in full swing. This is week three, I want to say. I'm pretty sure this is week three because uh, obviously I'm recording this before week three so it can be out by week three. So, you know, now you know. But um, this is my favorite element. If I was gonna choose an element to bend in real life, it would 100% be earth bending. With metal bending and sand, it's, it, it's, it's where I'm at. So, uh, with this video, you're gonna get some uh, good tips if you want to fight like an air earthbender if you want to change your fighting style like an earthbender It's gonna give you some good strong tips to do that and at the end We're gonna give you three combination three fight combinations You can practice at home so you can get working on your earthbender tactics So sit back relax and run that intro is the element of substance. The people of the Earth Kingdom are diverse and strong. They are persistent and enduring. So earthbending is a style of very headstrong people. It is a very headstrong style. Uh, it is based off of a Hungar style, of, the Hungar style of Kung Fu, but like the show does with all of its elements, it doesn't rip it off completely directly. There are strong similarities. It's definitely based off of that. But it's not quite the same. They slightly change it so it can fit the premise of the show a little bit better. And so we're going to take a look at those earthbenders and uh, earthbending techniques you see in the show in both Avatar The Legend of Korra and The Last Airbender. And we're kind of compare them to real life and see how it would work in real life if you're trying to learn how to do a, um, a style, make your style like theirs. Now, for all of these videos, Pro bending is completely different. So if you want me to do a pro bending styled uh, elemental video, let me know down in the comments because I might be getting that at some point. Uh, but right now we're doing earth bending, and earth benders are headstrong. They are uh, prone to take a lot of beating, a lot of beating, and then wait for their opportune time to attack, and then hit incredibly strong after that. So uh, you're gonna have to be very strong in your blocking techniques, and you're gonna have to be very strong in your uh, self-discipline in order to take those uh, blocking techniques and make them work for you. Um, a very important thing to note is gonna be uh, conditioning your, your body parts, your bones, your fists, your arms, your legs. Uh, a lot of Muay Thai guys do this often. You see them kicking trees and kicking through bats. That's because they condition their body. Uh, and so you guys are gonna want to get conditioning your body start working on doing knuckle push-ups on a hard surface to start with your uh, Fist conditioning uh, when you do it. Just know you want to condition these two knuckles if you condition your pinky You're probably punching wrong if you're conditioning these two knuckles back here You're probably punching wrong so get a strong habit of conditioning mainly these two knuckles Although conditioning your other two will be a benefit as well conditioning your arms by hitting trees I I like going out and finding a nice tree with some bark on it and just going to town. One, two, three, four, and then other side. One, two, three, doing my reps like that. Uh, make sure don't don't do it too often because you're gonna want to heal up. Give your time, give yourself time to heal. So don't. What well, my rule was, I never did it two days in a row. One day on, one day off, one day on. The rest off until the next week. So I, I conditioned two times a week. That's it. I didn't overdo it. I didn't even want to overdo it. I want to give my arms time to heal. Uh, if you feel better having one day on, two days off, and then one day on, three days off, you can do that too. But give yourself time to heal. I only do it about two times a week. Now the second thing you're gonna be gonna be you're gonna want to be doing is being able to see attacks coming in being able to perceive attacks coming in obviously Toph has the radar sense which is amazing but that's not gonna or I guess seismic sense not radar sense seismic sense I see everything that you see except I don't see like you do I release a sonic wave from my mouth <laughs> there I got a pretty good look at you which is amazing, but not gonna be useful for you because you don't really have that unless 
I'm missing out on something, in which, in, in which case, definitely let me know. But uh, you're going to want to focus on being able to tell when your enemy is getting ready to attack because that's going to help you be ready for your block, your, your inside-outside block, your X block, your high block, whatever block it is that you're doing. That's going to help you be ready for that block because there are some instances where you have to block them in a way where you have to know that they're attacking almost instantly. Uh, and so get in the habit of blocking things as soon as you see them coming or knowing that someone's going to attack you before they actually go for the full attack. So look at their eye positions, where they're looking at. Uh, a lot of times when I'm fighting people in tournaments, I'll look them in the eyes so that I can see if their eyes look at my stomach, then that means they're probably going to do something for my stomach. If their eyes look somewhere different than normal, it means they're probably going to do an attack towards that location. Same thing with body posture. If I know someone's... Uh, like leaning them back a little bit, I know they're getting ready to lift their legs so they can do a kick. There's those little things you're gonna wanna start picking up. I suggest watching UFC matches and, bo and even boxing matches and learning the tells of what people have because everyone has tells, it's just how good you are at hiding them uh, and how good the other person is at seeing them. So start looking for the tells that can tell you when someone else is getting ready to punch you. Lastly, is attacking incredibly strong. You're gonna wanna get very powerful attacks um, when you get your opening. You're gonna wanna deliver very powerful attacks because if you're waiting, you're gonna have to stop them instantly. And so as an earthbender, you're gonna deliver very powerhouse heavy attacks like your side kicks, your double punches, your hammer fists. You're gonna wanna deliver stuff like that so that when you decide to attack when you see your opening you finish the fight just like that there's no there's no more once once you've blocked if you have if you've been able to counter if you have been able to go on the offense for at any amount of time the fight's over and that's how you need to think whenever you're an earthbender you have to stop it whenever you're given the opportunity to so we're gonna go outside for the next part of this video it's a little cold and a little late so we're gonna try to do this all in one take at least for me I'm, I'm gonna split it out on the video so you're gonna see it in multiple takes but for me we're gonna get this done as fast as possible because i'm telling you it's like really cold for texas right now and i'm not enjoying it at all so uh let's jump into some uh earth bending combos now the first combo we're gonna do is gonna be two instances where we take an attack take an attack and then we're gonna give out our strong attack so what we're gonna do is our first we're going to when they come at us we're gonna step back left hand inside outside block tight hand you can be a fish you can be an open shot to get that more surface area it's up to you but it's gonna be that inside outside block blocking that first punch taking that first punch or kick you can be taking either one of those. The second thing we're going to be doing is going to be stepping back again into our horse stance, or not stepping back, but stepping forward into our horse stance and blocking like this, blocking a stronger attack, like a kick. So the first attack is blocking a punch, and then you're going to step forward into that kick and kind of punch that away because earthbenders take their um, attacks head on, take other people's attacks head on. So at first, we're going to step back with that punch attack and then step in blocking that upper thigh when you when you take someone's attack as an earthbender you want to block upper thigh for this move right here so bang two fist middle block if you don't know what that is go and check uh some of the um not fight like a superhero videos but combat for dummy series and i'll go into that somewhere early on in that series so again one more time you're here stepping block for that block in here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare on our back hip bring both hands back and you're gonna step forward in a strong front stance just like this again if you don't know what a front stance is i'll be going over stances pretty soon in the combat for dummies video but you're gonna step and forward into that front stance at the same time you full throw these double punches just like this so it's gonna look one two prepare and Three, fire. That's, those punches are gonna be incredibly strong going towards the ink trunk where the mustache sits and your solo punches or your diaphragm. So one more time, just like this. Stepping back, blocking, and punching. Just like that. And again, focus on those stances. Make sure you're in a good stance, good and powerful, so you have a solid base 
for your techniques. All right, so next, we're going to go into our, another one where we take a kick, but this is gonna be a different way. Instead of taking it at your body level, you're gonna go down to it and stop them. If you see someone throwing a kick, you're gonna get down there to them and stop them. This is what's called a low X block. Again, for all these techniques by themselves, go check out my Combat for Dummy series. But you're gonna step in towards their kick and you're going to low X block right around their leg. Now, you gotta be quick. You gotta be faster than them. And you also have to be solid with how you move. You can't be light and get kicked back. No, if you fall backwards from this, you're screwed. So you gotta be solid and bang, just like that. Strong, low X block. Now, from there, you can take them down into a joint lock but I much prefer taking out that knee. So you just blocked their leg. I'm gonna imagine it's their right leg kicking at you. So you're gonna take your hand and you're going to cuff the ankle and you're going to break the knee, just like that, or break the ankle. You can break the ankle and the knee, you can break just the knee, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you guys. So one more time, you're gonna jump in, bang, block. You're gonna wrap the leg and you're gonna break the knee. Just like that, one more time. You're going to see them kicking. As soon as you see them kicking, you found your opening. You're going to bang, block that kick, wrap the ankle just like this, and you're going to break the knee sideways. You want to hit the inside of that knee. And for example, if it did kick you on the other side, then you step other side and wrap the ankle and break the knee just like that. But again, this requires having a super deep and powerful front stance, keeping that you rooted to the ground. Now. The next technique, <coughs> excuse me, is going to involve a kick. Now, Toph doesn't kick very often in the series, but Earthbenders do. And so this one's going to be based on a kick. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a nice block because we're Earthbenders. We've got to let them hit us and let them open themselves up. So you're going to take your, your right hand and do an outside inside block, stepping back with your left leg. Bang. Now, you're going to elbow them in the solo practice, get them off balance, knee up, right leg, and you're gonna fire that side kick. One more time. You're going to block here. You're gonna slide in, use your opening that you just set up. Bang, elbow them in the solo plexus or the diaphragm. And then you're gonna rear back and fire them off just like that all together. It's gonna look something like this. One, two, three. I'm gonna be honest here. Uh, it's really cold, so I'm gonna go inside and do the rest of this video. So, here we go. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love any excuse to rewatch Avatar, and that's basically what this month is an excuse for me to rewatch and appreciate the awesome show that is Avatar. And it's gonna be useful in a video coming up where I talk about my fighting style. So, uh, hopefully, you guys are excited about that. Uh, with all this said, I just wanna let you know about next month. Next month, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing what I planned on doing, so it might be slightly delayed. Uh, the next um, month special, it might be a little delayed, but uh, either way, there'll be some awesome videos coming out because I have plans for whether I do it or don't. Either way, it's gonna be pretty dope. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you wanna see more of this kind of video or part two or a specific superhero or villain or comic book character or video game character anybody you want to see fight like that you want to learn how to fight like let me know down in the comments and i will get to it, it might not be the next time it might be the one after that but it will be on the list guaranteed and so with all this said my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out